Right, so we've got the Harvard WT4, WT44, which also says on the back H402. For those of you who are confused, it's supposed to be a 4 watt handheld. Um, I've got 3 watts out of it. But that's 3 of our watts, not 3 of their watts. Displays there, it's a LED shining through a bezel. And I can just about see, if I've got the right glasses, yes. We'll go to, it has been talking during the day, which is more than we often get. If I can just find, I think that says channel 31. Tango 21 test. Tango 21 working. Roger Dodger. So we can't plug an extension speaker in. Are you putting the extension speaker in? Are you ready? What? Oh yeah, I should have told you all that. Uh, I can't plug an extension speaker into this radio, so uh, off we go. Yeah, Roger. So, we're plugged into external aerial through the 3.5mm jack. We're plugged into external power. It's a 12 volt radio, not 13.8. And it's centre negative, not centre positive, centre negative. Right, passing the house and recording. Roger Dodger got you passing the house. Oh, and there's no tone control either. I was about to ask. Roger. Right, we're coming up to the end of the lane. Roger got you at the end of the lane. Service station uh, 152.9, 157.9. Okay, Roger, on that. Passing through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, are you going through Ancaster <laughs> Crossroads? And once again, you're not had to wait. Not like the two minutes I had to wait when I was slightly late to get to a wedding today. Not late to get to the wedding, but late for my practice time. Yeah, Roger. It's causing me to sneeze this test, sir. Roger, must be dust in this radio. Yeah. <laughs> Over. 
Roger on that. Got you going around the scratchy corner at Willsford. Had to adjust my squelch slightly. On a Harvard WT44, which is a 40 channel handheld, from about 1983. Yep, Roger that one. Well received. Twenty-one from Mr. Chippy. We're now at the five mile or five and a half mile point. Well, we've got you at the five and a half mile point. So on this Harvard WT44, it's three point one watts, going five hundred and seventy-five milliamps. Got low power, which I've set to four hundred milliamps milliwatt. I'm going to flick it down now. Five four three two one. And here I am now on four hundred milliwatt. Back to full power, and there we go. Over. Yep, Roger. That was all received. Excellent, then off you go when you're ready. Roger. Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy, we're now going over Rossby Level Crossing. <laughs> right, petrol's 155.7 and 159.9. Roger, got you going over Rawsby Level Crossing, and wonder if you've got a petrol price for me, please, over. Roger, got those petrol prices, uh, thank you. Well, that concludes the test. Ten ten, Mr. Chippy. So, uh, as far as the receiver goes, the receiver is pretty abysmal. So although we have the sensitivity on paper, it's a bleed over box. I've got RAF Cranwell four miles down the road and I can hear the ground radar interfering with Mr. Chippy. 
I've only ever had that on one other radio, which was a Signal 1001, which is a cheap version of a JWRM2. So, abysmal receive. I was able to hear him. Um, you'll have just heard how quiet it went. It's a bit like AM as they get further away. Uh, it's as if the receiver set up wrongly, but we know it's not set up wrongly. It's just rubbish. So, it seems to me that... You, I mean, I've got the circuit in front of me. It's as simple as it could probably get away with, I would say. So, uh, as you probably saw, there was only one front end and two IFs and um, adjustments, and, and that was about it. So, not a radio I'd recommend to anybody. I don't think they were good value up £99. Um, the Harvard 410 uh, has been more competent, but as the same, you've got this, you've still got this same plastic case which is so brittle with the slightest clonk and this is something I'm going to have to do when I put this back on the shelf and that's glue some of the um, case mouldings back on so we'll do that so it's sold as a 4 watt set, we got 3.1 watt but hey that doesn't matter right we'll go over to our base station see what it sounds like on that built in microphone Tango 21 testing the Harvard WT44 on its internal microphone into our Midland 76900 base station. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's 3.1 watts. We'll drop into low power. That's low power, 400 milliwatts. That's a home test. And I'm back to full power. So, hope you enjoy seeing something totally different, even if not necessarily the best performer around. Uh, I think we've got another handheld to I think we've got the Certo handheld, which is that one type made by Craig with crystals in it. Want to discuss crystals. So, there we go. Then we'll get back onto some 